Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Little late night break here with 2021 Panini Contenders Football Six Box Half Case Number Seven. Half case from a fresh case, no vet commons, ship, everything else does. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Straight up, mostly. We gave away some teams too in that filler, but everyone gets a team. No number blocks or anything like that. I guess a random number block wouldn't really work in contenders football. We gave away some teams too, mostly straight up. Thanks, everybody. However you got into the break, I appreciate it. Whether through whether it's through a filler, whether it's buying straight up, whether it's through a filler, through a filler, however it may be, I appreciate it. Got some boxes tumbling out around back there. Let's split this up. We got six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. We're gonna roll the die. We're gonna select a die. We're gonna select that one. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the side that we'll be doing. This is the side which will be for the next break, which will be for break eight. I guess it's coming up next. I'll just put X's on there so you can be assured that they are from the same case. In fact, I'm going to keep them on camera right next to me. Here. All right. And away we go. Five autographs per box on average. Sometimes there'll be points. Those will be randomized to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points. And let's go. What's been happening football-wise? I feel like we've got a lot of sports action happening. Players dropping 50, 60 points in basketball. Baseball free agency back. Let's go to from the from the people that brought you MLB trade rumors.com. Let's go to profootballrumors.com. Rams are still in the mix for Von Miller. What what happened early today? Randy Gregory was gonna sign with the Cowboys, then flipped around and said, I'm going to the Broncos. Jason was telling me that they had forced some sort of weird contract, some clause in there where like he would be fined or something if he got any kind of fine or something like that. Jason Jason Jasper was telling me this. And that and that could void his entire contract. And Randy Gregory's like, ah, no thanks. No thanks, that's ridiculous. No one else has this clause, it's ridiculous. Deshaun Watson's on a free agent tour. He was in Cleveland today, I think, met with the Panthers and the Saints where does everyone think Deshaun Watson goes? Cowboys did sign a deal with Demarcus Lawrence, though. Tight end Evan Ingram expected to sign with the Jaguars. I feel like he was always, I always drafted him on my fantasy team because he's got these physical skills, but it just didn't quite work out. But that could be a really interesting team. Jaguars have, what, Christian Kirk signed now. They've got Travis Etienne, who could be almost used as a wide receiver. Then they've got Evan Ingram, who can make some plays. Get some more wide receiving help there. Trevor Lawrence could, could have a nice season. And speaking of the Cowboys, there's Brandon Smith. Right, March Madness is starting up too. I think NIT's already started, and then the... Uh, the first round, the first four will be starting, what, tomorrow? Thursday? Something like that. And Tommy Tremble is your rookie ticket autograph. And I think we got him the other day. Kansas City Chief, maybe? Panther. So Panthers? Where does Deshaun Watson end up? What does everyone think? Talk to me here. I mean, and how does Carolina is Joe Joe K? By the way, how does um how does Baker Mayfield feel about them so openly looking for a quarterback? We'll do left right randomizers on that. There's Greg Rousseau for Buffalo. I think so, Chris. 
unless people force me to do that flawless baseball. But check the schedule. It says I am, I am done because we got another one of these after this. Oh, first four was today and tomorrow. I missed. I missed that. Who won? <laughs> Thursday, a round of 64 for Chase Hearts on Thursday. All right. There is Dwayne Eskridge, Seahawks. That's going to go to Sean Maddock in Seattle. He won that team. Right. I think, Brandon, I agree. That, that Trubisky to the Steelers. What does everyone think about that? Trubisky for the Steelers. That's going to be some of the best weapons. There's Russell Wilson, cracked ice. To 21. That's uh, that Seattle edition, of course. Now, he didn't have any we didn't have any weapons or great coaching in uh, in Chicago, and he was just kind of marinating in Buffalo, maybe learning from maybe learning from uh, Josh Allen. That's not a bad person to be behind. There's out of 21, Tom Kennedy, rookie ticket, cracked ice autograph for the Lions, David. Box one. Let's go. Box two. So yeah. So we'll we'll see if if Trubisky, because he showed moments occasionally, right? But now he's probably has the best weapons and probably the best coaching he's had in his entire starting career if he wins the starting job. So at at worst. You know, at worst, he's just another Mason Rudolph for a, you know, I, I thought they would give Dwayne Haskins a shot. But at worst, at worst, they just have a bad season and they get a high draft pick and then they could draft a quarterback. They might even draft a quarterback this year, but maybe they draft a quarterback next year or something like that or in the next two years. At best, they catch lightning in a bottle. I mean, relative to Big Ben, who had a great career, but Mitch Trubisky definitely is younger, a little more mobile, and that might be enough for that for that team. I mean, they can sh keep shoring up, keep that defense going. And the Steelers could be a surprise team. Championship ticket, Kylan Granson, 30 out of 49 for the Blue Horseshoes. That's going to go to the Colts. That'll be for Mike F. We've got a Barry Sanders flipped around. Hmm. A little, little bit of a trolling, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, I've, obviously both leagues have different... Uh, both have different different rules on how they handle... Stuff like that. But yeah, Deshaun Watson won't have criminal charges filed against him, so that's why he's on his free agent tour. But then Trevor Bauer won't have criminal charges pressed against him. And um, But yet he's still on administrative leave, although they only extended it a week longer. So I think Major League Baseball will have a decision on him by the end of the week, I'm sure. I'm sure the Dodgers organization is like, all right, what are we doing with this guy? Let's figure it out. And then it's up to. Then we'll see what the Dodgers. You know what what the Dodgers do. We got Elijah Molden. But generally, I feel like baseball has been, has, you know, like a lot of these cases, you don't have to have criminal charges filed against you or for it to go to trial to even suspend someone. You can suspend someone, you know, baseball can do, you know, can levy whatever punishment they want. They want. The expectation is, is, is that is, there is going to be a suspension. Just under that broad sort of personal conduct um, 
some personal conduct uh, clause that, that they have. All right, redemption is going to be Jamar Chase. Nice. That's a rookie ticket RPS, Jamar Chase, Cincinnati Bengals, Sean Maddock. Congrats. Sign those cards, Jamar. What else is happening? I'm not sure what else is happening in, in football. Those are the top stories according to profootballrumors.com. Let's go to ESPN. Does they have anything else? Mayfield, top headlines. Mayfield thanks fans as Browns meet with Watson. So he's, he's already saying goodbye. Bucks to Inc. Wide receiver, wide receiver Russell Gage and trade for Pat's guard, Patriots guard. Trod Taylor joins the Giants for two years. Looks like a backup role, or if, or if that guy doesn't end up being, being good. So if Deshaun Watson ends up with Cleveland, Cleveland saying, that means Baker Mayfield is traded. I guess Seattle. Would Seattle take a Baker Mayfield? Would the Colts want a Baker Mayfield? I feel like it's a, little, a, a tad bit unfair to Baker Mayfield, who I think was 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 carrying a, a shoulder injury for much of last season. Surely that has to affect the uh, affect his throwing and affect his ability. But he grinded that out. Dolphins got Chase Edmonds today. That's right. I heard about that. We got a rookie of the year contenders. Kenneth Gainwell. There's the number. Four out of ten. Definitely looked like a low number there. Kenneth Gainwell. That's for Brian and the Eagles. Rookie ticket autograph, Jonathan Cooper. Uh, Brandon with the Broncos. Russell Wilson on the Broncos, making me as a Raiders fan a little nervous. And the fact that Raiders have been a little quiet on this front. Not to say they're not doing anything, but you know, I'd like to see the Raiders pop up on the uh, on the news ticker. There's Ben Skoronek, 11 out of 99. He made some plays in the playoffs. Rams, Sean Maddock. He'd even scored some touchdowns in the playoffs. On their way to their Super Bowl victory. We got rookie ticket Elijah Vera Tucker. For Ryan and the Jets. Ryan Nguyen and the Jets. Dun, 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 dun. Got rookie ticket Odafe Oa for the Purple Birds. Joe Howard. There you go, Joe Howard and his Ravens. Ravens. Healthy Lamar Jackson. Healthy Lamar Jackson would be it would be a good thing. That entire team, I feel like, was ravaged by injuries last year. With Nico Collins, Texans, rookie ticket on card auto for Houston. That'll be for Tamoya. All right, we are halfway through this half case break, and then a, a second half will be coming up after this. Got about another 15 minutes in this break, and we've got another 30 minutes in the next break, and then that, that might be that for the evening. I don't, I don't, I don't see any more orders coming in, so that is that.
Right, Allen Robinson still a free agent. Odell Beckham Jr., although he might, he might be out for most of the year. Jarvis Landry. Raiders have been connected with DJ Shark, or maybe maybe some ambitious bloggers or optimistic bloggers are, are kind of connecting DJ Shark to the, the Raiders as sort of a inexpensive but playmaking type option. But still options in the in the draft as well. So Deshaun Watson meeting with the Browns. Maker, Baker Mayfield give, sending his thanks to Browns fans. So he's not happy. Falcons, a sleeper team in the Watson per pursuit. Where does this Deshaun Watson land? And I guess these teams are willing to absorb whatever fallout there may be. There's some points right there. Remember, winner take all the points. We'll do that randomizer at the end. We'll add... Points to the stack if necessary. There's Cameron McGrone for the Patriots. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. Rookie ticket autograph. Speaking of the Browns, there is rookie ticket Jeremiah, Jeremiah Uusu Koromoa. Linebacker for Cleveland. Eric Leal. Cleveland, this is for you. Got Terrace Marshall Jr., rookie ticket autograph for Joe and the Panthers. And we got an out of 99 round numbers card. So that'll be a separate Dolphins Eagles randomizer because that's a numbered card. There's a Jacoby Stevens playoff ticket autograph to 99. Looks like a, a defensive back, a safety for the Eagles, Brian Tippett. Yeah, Allen Robbins has been a little, little disappointing, but I don't think he's been working with very good quarterbacks, so I think that a very good quarterback play. I think when, when these lists are being made, a lot of people are looking at, hey, look at, you know, look at what, uh, what he, he could do with a competent quarterback. He still has skills. Skills hasn't diminished. That's what, they're, that's what they're saying, at least. I don't know. John, uh, Allen Robinson doesn't really move the needle for me, but I don't know. I feel like a Jarvis Landry. And Juju Smith-Schuster still out there? And what I don't know. What about Devontae Adams? He got franchise tag, but I don't think he's happy about that. I think he wants a, he wants a deal done. I think with the way the Rogers Aaron Rodgers contract ended up, I think he might be I think he might be taken care of. Is that deal done? Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater going to be Tua's backup? I think that's a good, that's a good backup to have, I think. And we got Philippe Franks, 21 out of 21 for Cracked Ice for the Falcons. That'll be for EA. And the Falcons inquired about Deshaun Watson, too. 
And is that an autograph? Zach Wilson? Auto, nice. Zach Wilson on card autograph for the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Ryan Nguyen picked up New York. Jets straight up. Dun, 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 dun. All right, see you guys. Uh, no, I'll close it up. Got winning ticket, Lamar Jackson, insert, at Chips. Rookie of the Year contenders to 25, Mac Jones. That definitely ships. I'll go to the Patriots, Sean Maddock with the Pats. There's Chris Evans for the Bengals. We're on Cincinnati, Sean Maddock. Cooper Cup? No, just card flipped around. Jerry Rice? No, just just trolling me. Gary Brightwell is a legit auto. There you go. That goes to Jerry with Gary. New York Football Giants. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. My homies. And another giant. That's Aziz Ojalari. Another one for Jerry and the New York Football Giants. Big Blue. The G-Men. All right, sixth and final box. We've got a few randomizers here at the end. we got the left-right randomizer, the numbered random round numbers card randomizer and then everyone has a shot at the 400 points or more plus more if any in here all right good luck thank you everybody for the fill Final box, good luck. Away we go. This is Pick Your Team 7. There's Kyler Murray to 199. What's going to happen with Kyler Murray? He didn't seem too happy in the offseason. What are they going to do for him? That goes to Sean Maddock and the Cardinals. We got rookie ticket autograph Ben Mason Jar. That's going to go to Sean Maddock and the Patriots. We got rookie ticket autograph Bobby Brown the third. Every little step I take, you will be there. Every little step I take. Sean Maddock with the Rams. It's my prerogative. Bobby Brown. There's rook, uh, rookie ticket Killen Hill. That will be Leo and the Green Bay Packers. And there's Patrick Sertain, the second, two out of 49. Playoff ticket autograph. Brandon with the Broncos. There you go, Brandon. It's pretty good. And a redemption. 
The redemption is going to be Jalen Darden, who I think is a Buccaneer. The wide receiver for the Buccaneers, that is for Oliver, who won the Bucks in that random. There you go, Oliver, on the board. Ooh, they got Tom Brady back. How crazy is that? All right, let's do some randoing. And then we'll do a little uh, quick recap at the end here. And then we'll dive into another half case break of contenders. All right, so let's go back to the list here. So the first dice roll will go left, right, or the, for the first list. The second list will be round numbers. That was a numbered card. Jalen Waddle, Miami, Devonta Smith, Philadelphia. And then everyone's got a shot at the 400 points. And one dice roll for all three lists. So that's going to be two and a one. Thanks, Randall.org. Nice low number. Three times. One. Two, three. So all the left side cards will get these non-numbered, round-numbered cards right there. One, two, and three. One person happy, one person sad. Miami is happy. That's going to be Brandon. Eagles are sad. Sorry for Brian. But you'll get this round numbers card, 10 out of 99. Sometimes they can be autographed, too. All right, the points. Everyone's got a shot at the points after three times. One, two, and three. And that'll be Oliver, your name on top, 400 points going your way in addition to that Jalen Darden autograph right here. Here's the recap for Pick Your Team 7. Not bad, a little cracked ice, some nice on-card autographs. All right, we got the Kenneth Gainwell at 25. The Jamar Chase was nice. Cracked ice, Tom Kennedy, Greg Rousseau, Brandon Smith, and a nice Zach Wilson autograph. And there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.